differential of somebody winning and losing has nothing to do with their genetics, has nothing to do with their potential. It's their perseverance, always showing up. A person that's willing to gamble it. If you show up, then you have a chance. If you don't show up, the outcome's simple. Never there, like an audition. If you show up to the audition, there's a chance you might get the part. If you're too scared to show up and you sit back at home, wondering what if and everything else, no one in hell is gonna call you an opportunity because you weren't present. The winners always show up. They're willing to lose in order to gain. Big mental thing there, guys. This body as great as you are, as sharp as you make the arsenal, it can't do anything if you don't have confidence in yourself. We all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back up? You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear. And the reason why? Behind every fear is a person you want to be. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. And once you face it, you go, oh my God, man, I spent all this time running from it. It was so small. If I just faced it, my God, not only did I face it, I beat it back. Energy is never lost, transferred. That negative energy, that fear, is destroyed. It comes back in as confidence. You're like, what else, am I, what else am I capable of? What else am I holding my back from that I'm capable of more? What am I running from I don't need to? What else can I overcome? You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not thinking the freedom. You're not running the day. The day's running you. You always be the fucking servant, not the master, guys. If you find a fear, the quickest, the easiest way you can beat it is initially, right when it comes in. If you allow it to sit, it will grow root and start breaking you down, destroying the potential of the person you can be. Again, the champions, guys. It's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not, you know, a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures. Through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up, that's what creates the champion. Success does not define us, we define the success. Why are you guys watching this video right now? Because ask that question to yourself. MFT didn't find you, you found MFT. The reason why you found it, because there's something about your life that's got to change. Something that's deficient, that's no longer suitable for your course of action. You've hit the wall someplace, you've looked in the mirror too many times and haven't smiled. You want to change the situation, move from where you are. The journey is not easy. But before you start that journey, mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. Everyone's hot off the start. But after a month or so into it, or a couple weeks into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. When you lose sight of the purpose, you give too much value of what the pain is today. We always invest today, sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. But if we don't know what that betterment is, the want factor of what we're really doing it for, we can't win this war, guys. In order to be successful in the MFT program, or in life in general, it's the want factor. You have a capable body to do whatever you want. You have a sound mental, nutritional diet. Now what the f do you want? Once you find out you want, regardless of what it is, then you combine the mind and the body together. That's when life gets exciting, guys. Stories of inspiration where the person overcomes the odds. When you see the good man, pump the brakes. Put your hands together, man. Give credit where it's due. Remember the name of the person that overcame the odds. Because that same person you're going to use in your own battle one day. When you hit rock bottom and you feel like the walls and monkeys on your back and Murphy's hitting you down every single step. You're going to use that inspiration to take that one more step forward that makes all the difference. Let me give you a few examples of these. Of people that overcome the odds. This kid couldn't speak. Everyone else in his peer group speaking all good. He couldn't speak. At age seven, everyone's reading and talking. He can't read. He was slowing down so much, the teachers brought his parents in and said, dude, the kid's got to go, man. He's just slow. He's not creative. He's slowing down the betterment of the entire class. Got to go. Parents brought him home and he's like, man, what are we going to do with this? This child of ours, too bad. 
They put him to work. He got fired from every single job he ever tried. All this guy knows up until 21 years old is failure. He's never tasted success. He just gets up and keeps trying, fails. Gets up, keeps trying. Until one day he found out what he wanted, what inspired him, and he gave it everything he had. Day in, day out, man. He burned the midnight oil so he didn't have to stay awake in the midnight hours wondering what if. This guy tried something 1,093 times before it was successful. 1,093 times, man. When the hell have you ever tried something more than 10 times before you throw in the towel? I can't say I have. This guy did. And why? That was what he wanted. How was it nourished? Failure. Everything failed in his life. So when it failed in the 1,000th time, it's like, well, f*** it, man. It's an average f***ing day. It always fails. I keep on going, but his invention got smarter and, and quicker. That failure made it more and more successful. It's getting closer and closer and closer. And finally, the light bulb lit. That was Thomas Edison, man. Failure. Dumbass his entire life. He had over another 1,000 patents, man. Remarkable. Couldn't speak at four. Was written out of class because couldn't read at seven. Kicked home, saying so mentally challenged. One of the greatest inventors of our time. We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? Again, it's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. The never say die attitude. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want. When you find out what you want, and you combine that with a sound mental diet, a visual nutrition, a physical diet of good food coming in with good exercise, you build the body, the belief, the confidence, you put that together with a want and a drive, dude, you're unstoppable. Your name will forever be in history. If you do it though, because it's hard, it's an uphill battle, it's a path less taken, not the beaten path that everyone else takes. It's a path that leads to character. You gotta earn that.